Okay, today we have to understand one thing. OTR, being on the road, how to deal with it, tips on things to make it easier. That's what we gotta focus on today. I mean, a few things that I've learned from, from, being, um, from being OTR is that you gotta find something to do. You can't, you can't just be, you, you can't, you can't just be idle, you know, idle. And I mean, they, they say that idle hands are the devil, uh, devil's workshop. Idle mind is the devil's workshop. You can't just be doing nothing. Now I have a couple different ways to, to look at this. When I first started, I did a year of nothing, year and a half or two of just nothing. I didn't do anything but drive. And in the beginning, that technically can work, but the problem with that end up being, once you learn what you're doing, you get bored. See, in the beginning, you don't need to do that, and you may even end up being one of those people to say that you don't have the time to, to do anything extra, you know, or constructive, you know, with your time because you're still learning how to do the job. You know, you're still learning how to do the job, how to get it done. As it goes on, I say after the, after a year, you pretty much can do the job without worrying about it. There's a couple of things you gotta fix as far as uh, bad habits on being on time, shaving off time, being more uh, productive, getting there early, getting tighter loads, building relationships with, with whoever's giving you loads or however you're getting your loads. Um, you know, understanding how to take care of your money. Uh, your family has to get trained on dealing with you being gone. There's there there's there's a couple of different situations and different ways you can possibly look at that. But you know, the the biggest thing is you're gonna have to learn what to do with your time once you get all of that under control. So let's say you're on your second year. On your second year, you pretty much can drive in any portion of the uh, country. You've done two two bad winters in all 48. If you stayed 48 states. You, you know how to chain the truck up, you know how to drive in snow, you know when to shut down, you know how to do high winds, you know how to do, um, you know, you, 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 you pretty much know how to get by. You know how to get by. And, 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 and knowing how to get by, all, you, all you're gonna do is get bored. Now, now you're bored. Cause you know how to pretty much do everything. You're just like, you know, what am I doing with myself? I'm just sitting here. You know, you you you've been in every truck stop, you've been in every state. So now, the, the, my suggestion, if you have everything done with learning, okay, we're putting this into perspective. If you have everything done with learning the job, the best thing you could possibly do is get a hobby. And if you run, and if you if you find seasoned truckers, they have a hobby, something they do. Some of them trade uh, currencies international. You know, some of them are in the stock market. Some of them uh, are into online video games. Those World of Warcraft type of R R B G. I don't know how to say it correctly. One of them games like that. Uh, some of them play PlayStation online, Xbox online. Some of them chase women. You know, some of some of them, yeah, porn addictions. Like they're doing something that occupied said time when the job, which has become easy, bland, boring, even if you will. They, they, they have something else that they do. I've gotten messages from numerous people who say, man, well, how do you deal with the boredom? Well, I don't really, you know, I do this. This is how I deal with the boredom. You know, I also have now uh, picked up the whole, you know, photography thing. And it's, it's, it's something that Another thing as a distraction because I'm on my fifth year pretty much. I pretty much know what to do. You know, you do. I, I 
I know what to do. I know I know what's about to happen. I know, you know what I mean? So it's not a surprise when I get around the bend. If I get to Wyoming and I'm not like, ooh, I've seen it, dude, honestly. Like I, I've seen what could happen or what's going to happen or, 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 or I, I've seen it. So now when I get there, if I, you know, since one thing I never did, I, I, the reason why I'm, I'm on the photography thing because I've been out here for years and I've never got a good photography scrapbook of places that I go. So in, 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 in doing this now, I can, I, can, I can get some type of documentation other than video. I have the video thing covered. Now I can get some documentation photo it keeps me interested I, I I want to learn about the lenses how to shoot exposure aperture uh, 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 you know shutter speed uh, you know uh, dynamic range what this lens does what is a this is an 18 you know uh, 18 by 55 what is a a nifty 50 prime do 1.2 aperture what does what does a uh, a 14 millimeter do a 85 millimeter a 70 to 200 a 100 to 400 what do these things do and it gives me something to do so now when I, when I am about to go to wherever I'm about to go I am excited to do this when I get there so it helps me along the road a little bit it also gives me a whole um, absolutely new thing to learn that's, that's, learn something learn something don't be that trucker that just all they can possibly talk about is trucking you're in your truck 11 hours a day of driving supposedly 14 hours of on duty hour at the dock hour, hour, hour bumping docks if you're if you're a van guy or at the port or, or pumping tank you have the time you have no excuse to remain ignorant you don't you can learn something no matter i don't know what that could possibly be i don't it could be anything you're into you could be into zoology you can anything in your mind right now you can go on youtube and learn it anything you can say, well, I, I want to be in real estate. There's a million, literally a million videos on real estate. You're a trucker. You have, you're making money sitting in one, sitting, sitting down. And you can just listen to tutorials all day. All day, you could just listen to tutorials. Don't waste that time. You can only listen to music for, for uh, so long. How much music could you listen to? That's how you deal with the bur bur uh, the, uh, 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 the the boredom. Learn something. Go out there, learn something worth learning. That is my uh, advice for the person who's saying I'm just so bored. My mom used to say a thing to me when I until I was bored. She would tell me to read a book. Pissed me off all to no end. To no end did this not piss me off. Yeah. There's people who listen to audiobooks. There's people who listen to tutorials, documentaries. You don't know what you, I don't know what I'm into. Start exploring. Go to YouTube and type in top five hobbies. Old man once told me, he said, find the thing you do for free and do it for a living. You're into something. You do. You are into something. We don't know what it is. You know. But you can figure out what it is you're into. And when you find that thing out, start reading up on it. Get into it. It could be drones. You've seen PH go to Party Hard, uh, the trucker. The, Party Hard, the trucker. That's my own boy. It's up to his channel. He's into drones. He likes to play with drones. That's his thing. It's a thing. It gives him happiness. He, he gets to learn about it. Listen to tutorials about it. Listen to videos about it. He, he's into it. It, it. it burns time. He stops. Got to do a 30-minute break. Bring the drone out. Fly the drone. You could be into 
two, two, two gas powered remote control cars. You could be into anything. That's my trucking tip. Learn something, get a hobby. Is it not? It's done. Get a, get a hobby that something you want to do. That you don't even worry about getting paid from it. YouTube became my hobby. That's why I bought the cameras. It became my hobby. You know, I bought this camera first. This is the RX100. And um, I was like, that's cool, that's great, it's great, it's great, it's great. Then I, then I moved on to the um, this right here, this angle here is the um, AX53 Handicam. Then I was like, yeah, this is real fun, man. But then I started stumbling on taking pictures and everything like that. And I said, I need to get a DSLR. I went online, went to Amazon, you know, got this for 300 bucks used. The D, this is a Nikon D3300. They're selling these used on Amazon for 200, 300 bucks. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Why? Because I just want. I, I, there's no reason in this new age of internet. There's no reason for you not to do what you want to do. There's none. There's no excuse, unless you're just, unless you're just stuck in an age where you're just not going to try. You, I don't want to try. I don't want to know nothing different. This is what I want to do. Nothing. If that's what you want to do, kudos to you. But you can no longer say you're driving down the street bored because you could have learned something. I don't know what that something could have been. That's something you're going to have to figure out what that is. You know, it could be about food, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, physical therapy, uh, eating right. Uh, dieting. It could be about history. It could be about anything. Your history, your ethnic history. It could be about the history of the country. You could look up the history of each state you drive through. There's a documentary on each state you're in. Every time you see that sign, look up history of that state. I'm in Ohio, history of Ohio. I'm in Pennsylvania, history of Pennsylvania. I'm in Nevada, history of Nevada. You could literally go through and learn the landmarks of every single place you're going to. Instead of, in, in, instead of just pushing ourselves to be in whatever trucking drama we run into. Because that's what people end up doing. They just wait for a YouTube drama thing to pop off and they just ride and watch that and instigate that. That is putting nothing but filth and negativity into your psyche. That's all that's doing. That is, that is literally hurting you. It's done. You may not believe me, but it is literally hurting you. It is inviting negative energy in. It is inviting negative thought in. It's or just listening to what company pays the most. What co it don't freaking matter, dude. If you suck at that company, you're gonna suck at the company that pays. Honestly, like it is what it is. Okay. You could be filling yourself with actual, gen genuine knowledge, and, and you just ride down the street listening to positive reinforcement. There's whole motivational channels that has all of your celebrities you look up to and worship so much, there's whole channels that all they do is talk about motivation. You can hear what Will Smith says about how to make it and be successful. Uh, Denzel Washington, Mike Tyson's story. There's so much stuff you could listen to if you wanted to. You just gotta get to the point where you understand that what I want to convey to the people that are watching me is learn, you know, the whole pot, my, the best decision I've ever made is getting away from neg negativity. My chest feels different. My outlook on life feels different. You know, when someone says something, say, I don't even know that they're saying it about me. I don't even know it. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Oh, you see this? Nope. I didn't see that because I was learning, you know. I don't even, I'm not even sub, dude. I don't know what they're saying. I don't, it's like they don't exist. The only way they exist is if you accept they exist and you go in there and you participate in that ignorance. That's the only way you give any of that light. You on the phone bickering about ignorance that's going on a thousand miles back home. You know, you're in, you're in, you're in the, the great state of freaking Nevada somewhere, beautiful scenery, and you encroached in drama a world away. That makes no sense to me. 
I did it. I'm, I'm a, I, look, man, I'm a culprit. I'm guilty of this too. I'm guilty of it too. And I'm, it's that, my, I swear, and you're going to think this is sappy. Literally, my life has changed. And when I find a success, and what I mean by success, not money, okay? When I find success, in other words, if I'm feeling better from doing something, that's a success to me. I just, I love it and I want to give the giblets out. You understand? I want to give the giblets out to the to, to whoever. Figure out a hobby. Focus some of that time you're spending on uh, listening to drama. Focus that on a hobby. You will be immensely satisfied. Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. If you're new, I suggest you subscribe because this is going to get nothing but better. You understand? You can also find me at Trucker Brown on Instagram. If you knew better, you do better, feel better. Make a conscious choice today. I'ma do something positive. I'ma learn a hobby. No more drama. No more drama. What you take in is like it is. It is. It is. It is a, a, a diet for your soul and, and our, our energy. Whatever you believe, you're bringing that energy in. Like you say, you are what you eat. You are what you watch. This video will first be seen on Patreon, link in the bottom. You me? If you ain't on my Instagram, you're missing out because I'm going to start the photography clips are going to be put on the Instagram. So you want to see what I shoot, go to at Trucker Brown. I'll be drop posting my regular stuff, but I'll also post a couple of the clips that I edit whenever I can get to a good place to drop them if you want to be participating in that. I appreciate every single one of you. And what you're seeing is my life changing in front of you. So if I sound like I'm really into what I'm talking about right now, because I am, I am into it, dude. And I want you, I'm excited about it. And I hope you get excited about it too. I really, really do. Don't do drugs, be happy, subscribe, do better. That's the whole point of the channel. The Rebirth, the new regime entertainment.